a mixed number and we're going to be using pictures to do it. So I have several problems written on this board or on this sheet of paper. If you want to go ahead and copy down um, A, we are going to work through this one together. So right now it's 13 fourths. Go ahead and copy that down. You can pause the video if you need just a second. All right, so to use pictures to turn a mixed number, I'm sorry, and turn a um, improper fraction into a mixed number, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. I know that this is improper right now because my head is bigger than my body. So I'm going to draw myself a box. And I'm going to look at my denominator. My denominator is going to tell me how many pieces make up one whole. So I know that each box or each hole needs to have four pieces. Now, what I'm going to do is take another color. I should have grabbed it first, but take another color and I'm going to shade in as many pieces as I can. So let's see. I have one, two, three, four. Have I shaded in 13 yet? I don't think so. All right, so we got to keep going. So I have one, two, three, four shaded in but I have to get to 13. Let's try another box. It has to be in four pieces again because of my denominator, and I'm gonna shade. I left off at four, so this would be five, six, seven, eight, and I've gotta get all the way to 13, so I'm not quite there yet. So I'll make another box. And I'm going to shade again. So I left off at 8. So now I have 9, 10, 11, 12. Oop, look, we're almost there. Now we got to start being careful. So I'm going to make my next box. And again, it's got four pieces in it. Now I left off at 12, and I want to get to 13. So I only have to color in one more piece. So I color in my next piece, and then that would be my 13th one. Now I've got to look at my picture. How many whole entire boxes are colored in? Well, here's one whole box, two whole boxes, three whole boxes. So I know that I have three whole boxes, and then I'm going to look at what's left over. So I've used this up. I used this up and I've used this up. So now we're just looking at this piece. So I have one colored in out of four. So I know 13 fourths is the same thing as three and one fourth. So let's give this second one a try for B. It says 11 fifths. So again, we're going to start with our boxes. Now, my denominator is going to tell me how many parts make one whole. So I know I have to have five parts in each one of my holes for this one. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, I can color men. I got one, two, three, four, five. Well, oops, I got to get all the way to 11. So I only left off at five. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to get to my numerator number. So I'm not quite there yet. So let's make another box. It still has to have five pieces. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I left off at five. So now I'm going to keep going. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Oh, we're getting close, but we're still not right there. I'm going to go ahead and number them. So this was six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, we want to get to eleven. So let's do our next box. It still has five pieces in it. One, two, three, four, five. I left off at 10 up here, so I'm going to color in just the next little piece, and he's going to be 11. I get to stop now because I have 11 pieces shaded in, and 11 is my numerator. So now I have to look how many whole entire boxes are shaded in. Well, this whole box is one. 
this whole box would be two. So I have two holes. That goes away. That goes away. Now I'm going to look at what's left over. I have one piece shaded in out of one, two, three, four, five pieces in total. So I know that 11 fifths and 2 and 1 fifth are the exact same number. They're equivalent to each other. So let's take a look at C. Copy down that problem. It's 13 fourths. And here we go. So I know each one of my holes has to have four pieces because that's what my denominator tells me. And I've got to shade in a total of 13 pieces. So I have one, two, three, four. And a number so I don't lose track. One, two, three, four. I have to get to 13 up here. I gotta keep going. So I was at four. I'm gonna color again. So that's gonna be five, six, seven, eight. I can number them. Five, six, seven, eight. Well, I'm still not quite to 13. I'm going to keep going. Splitting it into fourths. And I left off at eight, so I'm going to keep coloring. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, look, we're almost there. So then I would have nine, ten, um, 11, 12, we need another one because we're not quite to our numerator yet. They only needed one more little piece and it would have gotten there. So this would be piece 13. So again, I'm going to look how many whole boxes do I have sheeted in. I have one whole box, two whole box, three whole boxes. So I have three whole boxes. And use them now. Let's look at what we have left over. I have one piece shaded in, so one piece shaded in out of one, two, three, four pieces in total. So I know that 13 fourths is the same thing or equivalent to three and one fourths. I want you to try the rest of these. Um, so after you get them copied down, go ahead and hit pause and try the rest of them on your own. See if you um, can get the same answers I do and you can come back and check it. So D is going to be 7 thirds. E is going to be um, 7 halves. And F is going to be 17 thirds. I know the green's a little bit hard to see. I won't use green anymore on video for you. Um, but go ahead and pause it and then come back and check your work. All right, so if we're looking at D... Um, I know that each one of my pieces, uh, or each one of my holes has to have three pieces. So my first box, have one piece, two piece, three pieces. So I'm going to shade it in. I got one, two, three. And I'm going to number up so I don't lose track. One, two, three. I've got to get to seven. So I'm going to keep going. This is four, five, six. This front row made like everything have one more piece. I don't know what I was thinking. So I left off at three. This is going to be four, five, six. I'm not quite here yet. I'll do my next box. So it has to have three pieces. I left off at six. So this is piece seven. Now I've got to look. How many whole boxes do I have colored in? Well, I have this whole box and this whole box. So I have two whole boxes. Take care of those. I have one piece left over out of one, two, three pieces. Seven thirds is equal to two and one third. So we're going to take a look at the next one. I'm going to kind of lower it just a little bit to make sure you guys can see it. Um, we're going to look at the next one. We have seven halves. So again, same idea. I'm going to take my box. Each box has to have two pieces. That's what the denominator tells me. So I'm going to split it into two pieces. I'm going to start coloring. I got one, 
do. So one piece, two pieces, the next box. I lock it at two, so this would be three and four. Then I would have my next one. Cut it in half. Lock up at four. So this is five, six. We're not quite up there yet. And then my last little piece will give me seven. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I just have to look. How many whole boxes do I have shaded in? I have this whole box. That's one, this whole box two, this whole box three. So I have three whole boxes, one piece out of two. So I know that seven halves is equal to three and one half. All right, here's our last, very last one. So we know in these boxes, if we look at our denominator, that we need to have three pieces inside of each hole. So if I start shading it in, piece one, piece two, piece three. So one, two, three. I have to get all the way up to my numerator. Four, five, six. Still not quite there. Seven, eight, nine. Oh goodness, this is gonna be a big number. So we're only at nine, we gotta to get to 17. This will be 10, 11, 12. Trying to get to 17. So this is 13, 14, 15. So we're at 15, we wanna to get to 17. So 15, 16, 17. So again, I'm gonna look how many whole entire boxes are shaded in. So one box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes, five whole boxes are sheeted in. So I've used up these. And what's left is one, or one, two shaded parts out of three. So I know that 17 thirds is equal to five and two thirds. And that's it, you're all done.